GPNVGs, Panos, Quads, Four Eyes, 18s, however you've heard of them, the infamous L3 Harris GPNVG 18 is one of the most well-known and iconic systems that people have seen in movies or however you've heard of them. They're just flat out cool. The question you've got to ask yourself, would you rather have a nice sedan or this set of night vision right here? Because ultimately, that's a question you're going to have to answer if you're serious about purchasing them. In this video, we want to do a brief overview and just give you the down and dirty about this system, what to expect, its features, and all that. So let's get into it. First thing that's very obvious that you will see, this is obviously a panoramic night vision goggle. So what this is going to do is give you 97 degrees field of view over your traditional 40 degrees field of view, which if you've never had the luxury of using these, guys, that's significant. If you're walking into a room, you can see corners that you wouldn't be able to see. If you're driving, you can see mirrors that you wouldn't be able to see. They're pretty sweet and for, for good reason. But those four tubes, that's what's going to give you your additional field of view, which is the main feature of this goggle. Because ultimately, it's a pretty simple goggle. So let's go through it front to back. The objective lenses. These are the same objectives that are commonly found on PVS 31 alphas. So the great system resolution that you've come to expect from 31s, that is something that you're going to see on the GPNVG. Each monocular pod is going to have two tubes and two objective lenses on a fixed bridge to give you the complete goggle. So just much like an RNVG or an ANVIS style goggle that's a fixed bridge, how you adjust these is your interpupillary distance is these knobs right here. So that's going to adjust the distance between your eyes. So you've got good alignment for that sight picture that you're going to see through the goggles of the, the four tubes, which is ultimately going to look like a center circle and then two exterior circles on the side to give you that 97 degrees field of view. Up here, we've got a rubber power knob. This is going to be the only control that you have on the goggle. These are an auto gain system, so you don't have anything like an onboard illuminator or manual gain. It's just simply power on and power off, which is going to give you that, that auto gain system that the uh, Panos are. They're powered from a standard Fisher port that comes with the uh, PBS 31 Alpha battery pack or the CR123 battery pack that is uh, comes standard with the uh, GPNVG 18s. What's nice about that is you can use both battery packs. So on this guy, we've got the CR123 GPNVG battery pack, and it is plugged into a set of PBS 31 Alphas. Uh, really, the only main difference between the battery packs is this goes off four CR123s and has a straight connector versus the PBS 31 Alpha has the 90 degree um, connector and uses four um, AA batteries. So slight difference, but you are you do have that flexibility. Then moving to the back, you've got a fused ocular lens. So what this is going to do is give you that clean, nice picture through the uh, GPNVGs, and it is something that does not have an ocular adjustment. So much like the PBS 31 Alpha, it comes standard with a negative 0.5 diopter insert, but that is easily changeable, and that is something you can do as the end user and does not have to come back to the factory or come back up to us uh, for that to change. As far as maintenance goes, maintenance is very simple. Overall, it looks complex, but this is a very simple system and is designed to have maintenance easy. So if you're a professional end user and you need to have a strict maintenance plan, that is something that's very easy to accomplish with these. Overall, just a very cool system, uh, really not jam-packed with features. This is more just the, a very straightforward fixed bridge goggle that has you know a couple extra tubes that gives you a cool 97 degree field of view. So that's the down and dirty on the GPNVG 18s. They are awesome. The question is, is are they right for you? They are. They do come in multiple performance um, variants and also multiple mounting variants. So that is one thing we'll, we'll touch on is this is the ruggedized variant with a dovetail and you could get this with a ball and detent style for an ambus style mounting solution. Like we said, you can also get these in various performance levels. So depending on what makeup you want and what variant and part number of the GPNVG you may be interested in, pricing is going to fluctuate a little bit. But just to give you a good idea, these are going to come in right around $40,000 depending on variant. But ultimately, guys, you got to ask yourself, is this worth it? Does it accomplish your needs? And is that ROI there for you, for your your system, whether that be a commercial customer or a law enforcement customer or government customer? Everybody's got different needs. We're just here to give you the overviews on the systems that might fit your needs the best. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop those in the comments. Give us a call whenever. We're happy to answer any product questions. And as always, stay tuned for more content. Go ahead and smash that subscribe button. We'll see you soon.